Hi, my name is Sebastian and welcome to the video course of learning Java EE8 by Pact Publishing. In this video course, we will learn how to use the Java EE8 API to build enterprise applications. So I'm working as a consultant, author and trainer in the enterprise software area, mostly with Java and Java EE. I'm a conference speaker on many, many Java conferences all around the globe. And I'm very help, happy that I can help specifying the Java EE standards as an expert group member for JAXRS, the config JSR and JSONP. So I help define the um, Java EE specifications. And I'm also a so-called Java champion and Oracle developer champion and a 2016 Java one, a double rockstar speaker. So now for the course, o course overview, what we're gonna cover First of all, in the first section, we're going to see about the so-called core Java EE components that includes EJB and CDI mostly. Then section two, we will see how to connect Java EE applications using HTTP endpoints. In the next section, we're going to see how we can use persistent, persistence and access databases in our application. Then the fourth section will be about so-called cross-cutting concerns, such as interceptors. Section five is about asynchronous behavior, how we can make our business processes asynchronous. Section six will be about ac um, accessing external systems. And the last and seventh section will be about asynchronous communication protocols. And if you follow all this course overview, then at the end, you will have a very good knowledge about how to use um, and implement Java EE applications in a modern fashion using the last and latest and newest Java EE8 APIs. As prerequisites for this course, it's advisable to have a, very, a good knowledge about Java 8 or newer, so Java in general, the programming language. Then we will need uh, Maven, Maven 3 to build our project. Gradle is equally fine um, to build enterprise projects, but in this course we will use Maven and it helps if you already have some basic Java EE knowledge or at least some basic knowledge how enterprise applications look like, how they're um, built. Then as the course goals, at the end of the, uh, the course, you will be able to develop enterprise applications in a modern fashion using modern Java EE APIs. You will acquire the knowledge how to, well, use the Java EE APIs and well apply them to implement them and then we will focus on the business requirements this is a very important aspect so it's not about only um, teaching the apis and the technology but also how we should well use them how, what the approaches are in enterprise projects that means that we want to focus on the business requirements and not just build technical necessities and then we will learn how to use um, how to connect enterprise applications to external systems and databases. And at the end of this course, you will know all about the APIs with, um, such as EJB, CDI, JAXRS, JSONB, JSONP, Bean Validation, JPAs, Interceptors, and WebSocket. This is all covered in this video course. So I hope you will have great fun watching this video course and learning about Java Enterprise and Java EE8.